In this video, we'll factor the equation x squared plus x minus 2 equals 0. And we'll use these rules here to guide our work. The first thing we do, we'll set up a skeleton equation. That looks like this. Now we can add the signs in our skeleton equation. So we look up here, we have a positive and a negative. So if either the last term or the middle term is negative, we'll use this format here. So let's put a positive here and a negative here. Now we can find the factors for the last term, that's the 2, negative 2 here, that add up to give us the middle term. And we assume that there's a 1 here. It's not written. Let's just put that in. So the factors of 2, we'd have 2 times 1, and that's pretty much it. So if we look at this, we want these numbers to add up to give us a positive x, a 1x. So if we had a 2 here and a 1 here, that looks like that would give us the positive x. But let's check our work. So we can use the FOIL method to do that. x times x, that's the first terms. Then we have outside, x times minus 1. So we have minus 1x inside, 2 times x. And then the last term, 2 times minus 1, that's minus 2. All that equals 0. We can combine these terms here, since they're both x. And we have x squared. This will give us a positive x and then we have minus 2. So x squared plus x minus 2 equals 0. Same thing as we have up here. So this is correct. The very last thing we'll do is we'll figure out what values of x will make this equation 0, make it a true statement. Let's do that. So we say x plus 2, we set that equal to 0. We add minus 2 to both sides, and we have x equals minus 2. Over here, x minus 1 equals 0. So we add 1 to both sides. x equals a positive 1. So if we put these numbers in here, if we put a minus 2 here for x and a minus 2 here for x, and we did the math, this would all equal 0. Likewise, if we put a 1 in for x here and here, add this all up, it would equal 0. So we know that these are correct. This is Dr. B factoring the equation x squared plus x minus 2 equals 0. Thanks for watching.